All right, so all smartphones these days pretty much have amazing cameras built into them. I mean, the latest iPhone has two cameras, both with 12 megapixels, and to be honest, sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes you want that extra edge above everyone else without spending a couple thousand dollars on an amazing camera system. So, what you need to pick up is a lens system. Now, these range from about $2 to up to like $150, depending on which one you get. So. That's what we're looking into, seeing which one at which price point is worth it. We're going to be comparing the original camera quality on an iPhone with the three separate lenses that we have. So, I have my model. It is a half drinking cup of coffee. It's a latte. I love it. It tastes good. And in the background, I have a red case. Now, we're going to be trying two different features. As you guys know, the latest iPhones, they have a portrait mode enabled. So, we're going to take a wide angle using the top camera, then we're gonna take a zoomed in using the bottom camera, and then a portrait which uses both, and then we're gonna be seeing how good it looks. So, I'm not gonna move the phone, simple click, looks pretty good. Hit times two, that's using the other lens. Click it, click portrait, and that should do its magic if I just move further away. All right, never mind, we're moving. Come on, and then click. All right, so, pretty straightforward, I mean, the photos out of the camera, you can't really complain about. iPhone's known for their amazing camera quality. But straight up, this one looks pretty good. I mean, it's your typical, typical wide angle photo. Looks fine. Next one, telephoto. Um, a lot of people have been complaining that the telephoto one isn't at the same quality. And then of course the portrait mode, which does this fancy background blurring. Here we go, the first lens. This is worth about two bucks, you can pick it up online. It comes in a plastic baggie, which we were surprised about. In terms of packaging, it's not bad. Actually, it, it, it is bad. It's cracked, so I don't know what it went through to get here. So it looks like it's one of those typical clip-on lenses. It feels like cheap plastic. It's only two bucks. So these are pretty much just like extra shutter buttons. You click it, and then it clicks to take a photo. All right, let's see how it looks. I lined it up. Everything seems to be lined up pretty good. I'm not expecting too much from this. It's only two bucks. I didn't think there's glass in the lens. I think it's just plastic. All right, here we go. We're gonna go. <laughs> what is going on? We're just gonna we're just gonna rock it. Normal photo, one time zoom. It looks like it does like some some beauty effect on it. Um, yeah, I think that's what it does. It just applies like a sort of beauty effect on the outer part of the image. It's not. It's not ideal for two bucks, 100% not worth it. All right, next up, we have a $50 cellular phone camera lens system. It should be better than the last one. That last one was terrible. It didn't even have glass on it. So, we open it, it's pretty nice packaging, nice cardboard box, it comes with foam on the inside to protect your investment. Here's one of the lenses, I believe. Actually, let's see what else is inside of here first. So over here you have what I believe to be a cleaning device for your phone. Never mind, this is a telephoto lens. Not bad. I mean, it's inside of a plastic enclosure. The glass, I can look through it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's like a mini telescope. Oh, hey there. You look good. Yeah, not bad. All right, that's one of the lenses. It comes with three lenses inside of the box. Let me see if I can unscrew this. This is a fisheye lens. This is obviously a telephoto lens, so extra zoom in, extra wide, um, and then this is a wide. So this will make your wide angle lens on your phone just a bit wider without distorting it, which is something that the fisheye is known to do. The fisheye is what makes it look like the GoPro, like the old GoPros, or like an old rap video. They always use fisheye. Michael Jordan in the fighting for fighting with Wayne Gretzky. And then it uses a typical mounting. It clips onto your phone, and then you screw in the lens. Not bad. And it also comes with a shutter button if you want to take remote photos. Comes with another mounting system. This one looks a bit more secure. That'll make it more stabilized. You have a mount for a tripod that comes with it. So if you want to take like family portraits or a selfie. And it has a nice cloth slash baggie. And it has a strap and another cloth. In terms of build quality, I mean, it's made out of plastic, like I said before. The glass on it feels like plastic as well. Let's see how they perform. Let's use a big mount. It's mounted, should be good. We're gonna be trying the normal wide angle one first. So, compared to the normal wide angle, let's see how it looks. Oh wow. 
I mean, I'm about the same distance. Oh, that is way wider. That's that's actually not bad. All right, I have it lined up as best as I can, and there still seems to be a little bit of vignetting. Let's take another photo. All right, same exact place. Take a photo. Yeah, I mean, looks looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Can't complain. Makes everything wider without distorting it. There's a bit of vignetting in the bottom corners. I tried, I lined it up as best as I could, but there was still, still that. So let's move on to the fish eye. Now this is the one that'll make everything look super weird. Makes it look like you're a fish. Eh, it's an acquired look. I don't think it's any wider than the actual wide angle lens. Like when you look at it, they look to be the exact same no, okay, maybe there's a bit more. There's a bit more in the fisheye lens. Oh, one thing I didn't notice is that you have a locking system here. You can twist this out and then it makes it even more secure. That is a cool feature. That is good. It's actually, uh, it's not bad for 50 bucks. This thing is so worth it. All right, now we're using the telephoto. Um, maybe I need to just, this one is the most interesting one. Um, it says it's it's a 12 times zoom on your basic camera. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna lock it into place. I finally have it centered. Now, one thing that this lens has that I didn't really notice at the very beginning is that it has its own focusing system here. So if you look over here at this blue tiny screen, you can see it change as I twist it. That goes to show like at what distance is it in focus. So we're gonna go to the closest distance, which is three meters. Hopefully something gets in focus in the background. All right, Route 66, snap a pic. Uh. Now it has a bit of a distortion on it. That's to do with the cheapness of the actual glass itself. You can see a bit of color fringe over here in the edges. Like when you zoom in, there's like a green tint along the edge of it. And that usually comes with cheap glass on a camera. But I mean, for 50 bucks, it comes with three different lenses, three different sizes, and that looks pretty good. I'm impressed. And it also comes with a tripod and a mounting system that locks into place, which is actually really useful. I could see myself using this zoom. All right, so last up, we have the expensive camera system lens. Now, this is a company called Moment. They offer specialty lenses. Now, one thing that you will notice with each one of these is that the build quality is just a step above the rest. Now, it requires its own case that you need to attach to your phone to actually mount the lenses. You can see right here, these are like special mounting points for the actual lenses. All right, let's put it in. Yep, phone's secure, can't complain. We're gonna be checking out two of the lenses right now. There is a wide angle lens, and then there's also a telephoto lens. It's not the same as the times 12, but it is a 60 millimeter, which is equivalent to a times four. And they all have their own lens cap on it, which is nice. A rubber lens cap, which is nice. Now, in terms of build quality, it is actually made of metal and the front elements and elements inside of it are made out of actual glass, which is nice. They feel a lot heavier. I mean, if you just compare the size from the medium one, wide angle, wide angle. Both of these are the exact same, like times, I believe they're 0 0.64 times the zoom. I mean, there's a big difference. So you just plug it, you line up the lines on it. So there's a line here. And then on the case at the very top, there is also a line. So you line up the lines, you put it in, and then you twist. And then it's now secure. So, same distance, wide angle lens, photo. Yeah, I mean, compared to the original, it's pretty wide. So you have this one, which is the one that we just did. And then you have the normal wide angle one over here. I mean, it's a lot different, it's a lot different, it's a lot wider. I mean, that's to be expected, it's a wide angle lens. I mean, that looks like it came out of the phone by itself, but it's just a lot wider. And I guess that's kind of what you want with one of these lens systems. You want to look as good as possible. So let's try the time zoom. Now, this one is meant to be mounted on the two times camera, not the one times camera. You could mount it on the one times camera, but that's not where you're getting your extra zoom from. So back into photos, back into camera. Switch it to the times two. Oh. So when you switch to times two on the Apple Photos app, it doesn't always switch to the times two lens. 
Interesting. Interesting. We're gonna use the times one lens with it on. Is that the exact same distance? Snap a photo. Looks good. Now there is a bit of vignetting. It is meant for the times two camera. All right. So in terms of which one is most worth it, I mean, if you're looking to upgrade your phone, definitely do not get the two dollar one. It sucks. It doesn't even have a lens in front of it. It has like some weird plasticky spiral type thing. I think it's meant to make like a little tiny effect on it. But between the two of these systems, you have one which each lens is $100. So this whole package here is about $250 with the case versus a $50 one. Um, for me, the $50 one surprisingly was the most worth it. It came with a lot of additional features. It came with a tripod, came with its own mounting system that was actually really secure um, with this. Make sure you get one with this twisty thing. Yeah, that's more worth it. 100%, $50 one. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys didn't, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Comment down below, let us know what you guys thought, or if you want to see us review or unbox anything. And if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe. We do giveaways every week. Peace.